Oh yeah, today is vlog day 799. Still not 100 percent but I'm, I'm getting out of here just for a little bit at least because I can't stay in here for two days running or I'll go crazy. One of the things that this has led me to think about a little bit more is uh, burnout and wanting to try and prevent it. I think that coming to the edge of just not being able to even produce a video for the day, which thankfully I've been able to make something every day while I've been sick, definitely highlights the danger of pushing it too far. I don't know, this has definitely shown me that I've come a little bit close on the pushing it physically at least, like I've pushed it very close to too far. I haven't even read comments for the last couple days. I've just been trying to rest, relax, but even standing here just talking to the camera, it's kind of tiring, which is a little disconcerting because I would hope that I would come, like bounce back from this sooner, uh, faster, we'll see. Everything else is okay. I'm able to eat, I ate like a full meal last night, which was good. I'm gonna try and go exercise that ability right now as well. I'm gonna deliver something to the Peloton and well, since I gotta go down there, might as well get a waffle. But yeah, there's uh, while I've been lying on my back, I've seen a number of different uh, articles that have come out recently about YouTuber burnout in particular. And so, I have a couple thoughts about that I can share, and uh, I can also, uh, you know, go get a waffle. I realized, uh, it's so noisy in here today. I realized I didn't have to wear my rain jacket. If it's not raining, I can just put it in my backpack. I know I've been towing the line for a long time on the burnout, like, I think a number of you have recognized this and it's helped that I finally made the How I Vlog video, which ironically is what pushed me over the edge, I feel like. But it takes a lot of work to make one of these every day, and for the last couple of years I've been making one of these every day while working, like, multiple jobs and bouncing around quite a bit, and then uh, even as I've been able to start paring out the extra work, which has been a huge blessing thanks to my patrons in particular. I've also, you know, upped a little bit of my travel game. I've, I've been moving around a little bit more. I've been trying to make a little bit more intense of videos, which has been good, and I want to. I want to be pushing myself, but I've, I've, I've hit a bit of a, a, a marker there, apparently, and I also didn't take a break, which I was originally planning on taking a break between each season, but this time I was like, you know what, no. I want to I want to hammer through it. I want to get to at least a thousand, if not a full three seasons, without taking any more breaks. Just wanted to be that much more hardcore, that much more intense. And I think I just kind of like, I was kind of up against the line and just finally managed to pass that line just a little bit. Then I got to pull back and, uh, you know, not push it quite so hard for just a little bit. And not because I don't want to make great videos and not because I, I don't want to be here, you know, sharing my life. And that's one of the really important things too, is remembering what, why is it that I'm here? Why is it that I'm, I'm, I'm vlogging in the first place and how easy it could be to get lost in that, to get wrapped up in something that's not what I'm here for. Of flea market or yard sale. I don't know what's going on. It looks like they're supporting the Red Cross though, so that's kind of cool. I'm not I'm not really looking for any secondhand uh, gadgets or gizmos. I also don't have the energy to walk through it. For those of you who are like, I want to go see more. Nope. I need coffee. I need to sit down for like an hour or two now. This has been most of my energy for the morning spent just getting here. It's, uh, I mean, doing okay, but yikes. But why I'm here, I have to remind myself why I'm here, and I feel like I've kind of fallen a little bit away from that. Not in too many bad ways, but subtle ways that can be nefarious. Good morning. It's kind of misty now. It was raining pretty hard a second ago. Now it's just like <laughs> spitting rain. It's an expression that I've learned to love. Anyways, the art in there was interesting. Jeff, nice to meet you and to talk. I just met Jeff from Chicago. Talked a little bit about like kind of what I'm talking about today. 
which is trying to figure out where to go next, which we've been discussing on and off over time, like, not, and not go next in terms of like redirect or rebrand, but to focus in and uh, not forget what it is that I'm doing this for. One of the dangers that I'm afraid of in doing YouTube and in any increasing success in YouTube is to get sucked into the hole that is YouTube and YouTube success. Because as it becomes something that ends up kind of paying my way, it grows and it enables so much. The temptation is to pour more and more time and effort into it than I already do, which I already pour a lot into it at the expense of other things that I want to be doing and should be doing. And the risk that that ultimately runs is that you become a YouTuber for the sake of being a YouTuber. I'll, think, I'll tell you that. Let's figure it out. Remembering what it is that I'm like trying to accomplish in life and reorganizing it. This is why we have the goal board, right? Or the gold map, which I spilled Coke on yesterday, which I think will increase in its authenticity of looking like, you know, an old ratty map. But uh, was, I was not thrilled about when I did it in the moment. Having something like a goal map isn't just to give you a to-do list. It's also to help remind you what it is that you're trying to set out to do. What is it that you're focused on? And what are the things that are distracting you from that? YouTube is not a distraction. YouTube is a tool for audience building, for sharing my goals, my dreams, for sharing the stories that I have, for sharing with you. If it wasn't for YouTube, uh, Couriers, when we kickstarted Couriers, this spring would not have gone nearly as well. And the hope is that as we build and grow together, more and more of you will be interested in the stories that I have to tell outside of Paris and outside of my life and that I can really grow interest in the sci-fi and fantasy stuff that I'm trying to tell. And for those of you that are like, sci-fi and fantasy is not for me, maybe you'll give it a chance anyways, because maybe you just haven't found the right sci-fi or fantasy story yet. But YouTube can become a distraction if it becomes the main thing. And what I mean by like earlier I was saying, do YouTube for YouTube's sake, there are a lot of people who I think do social media stuff like Instagram or YouTube just to do Instagram or YouTube. Like they just want to become famous for just the sake of fame, something like that. For me, YouTube is a tool to tell the story of the things that I'm already doing, the life I'm already trying to lead, the dreams I'm already trying to pursue. And so with that, if I'm not actively pursuing those bigger goals that I have, those bigger dreams, then the YouTube side of it itself starts to feel a little bit hollow. I really love what I do on YouTube too. Like I think that's one of the things I don't want to ever miss or let go of are the elements of what I do that I really, really enjoy. The storytelling, even the daily format, though it's very difficult and takes a lot. It takes a lot of energy, a lot of thought, a lot of everything. Right now, I'm really happy to be doing this, like to be getting my thoughts out, be sharing them, to be thinking in terms of the edit that's gonna come later. It's a really great exercise in storytelling and learning and pushing myself and challenging myself. And I don't wanna lose that. But I also need to find a proper way to balance it because it can become all consuming. Like I can definitely see myself falling into the spiral of doing more and more interesting things to make more and more interesting videos to try and, you know, boost viewership, but also to keep my life interesting, to keep things going. And I, I need to maintain that mentality of like long term. What I'm here for is to tell the stories that are up here, like the, the, the bigger science fiction fantasy stories that I have bouncing around in my head that have been forever. This is definitely a way of sharing those with a broader audience or building an audience for those. This is also a way of refining my storytelling ability, my capacity to tell the stories that I have in here. They're only gonna be sharper if I can tell a better story here every day, but I don't want this to become the end goal in itself. Because while I love doing this, and I hope to keep doing this for a very long time, uh, I don't want it to keep me from actually living the life that I have set out to live this entire time. I want this to be the story of that life, if that makes sense. How's the lighting in here? This is probably pretty bad. I probably shouldn't have this. Ugh. No more hat time. To shadow my eyes. My eyes. The things you came here to see every day. Uh -huh. So all that to say, the ways that I want to avoid burnout isn't that I want to stop vlogging. It's not even that I would want to stop vlogging every day. I think there's a very, there's gotta be a way to find a good balance to vlog every day. I'm not saying that I've found that entirely yet. Obviously I just fell apart this week, largely because I've been doing it for two years and finally pushed myself over the edge. But 
I think that the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. I didn't want to say that, but that ultimately what I want to do is ensure that my writing, uh, the books that I came here to France to write, that I originally told the French government I was gonna write while I was here. The books that I wanna get out of my system, the stories that I wanna tell are still happening, that I'm making time and am remaining disciplined in writing those stories. And if those things are happening, and the life around them, the life that I'm leading here as an expat in Paris, as somebody who does enjoy traveling, if as long as the life that I lead continues to grow and become a life that I want, the life that I want is one that's particularly interesting. And it's something I've never fully talked about. It is very dark outside today. It is still not even close to sunset and it is so stormy and so dark. The goal for me is very much to live an interesting life and a life that I would find interesting, a life that would have lots of stories in it that'd be worth telling on its own. Not only do I want to tell uh, good stories that I've made up, but I want the stories that I've lived to also be well worth telling as well. And so I think if I can hold a balance in that, I, I will maintain an interesting enough channel, even if it's not the most outrageously interesting channel, I'm not gonna try and join the arms race of sensationalism on YouTube. That's not something I'm interested in, but at the same time, it's gonna be something that I can maintain for the long haul because I'm gonna be pursuing things outside of YouTube that not only make, hopefully my channel, interesting in and of itself, but keep me going because they're the things that I really want to be doing with my time with my life. Video is something that I always want to be a part of my life. I do want to make bigger movies someday down the line. I do want to make all kinds of things, all kinds of interesting and fun things down the line, but I have to survive to get there. For those of you who are pursuing your dreams, whatever they are, whether they are within the creative sphere or outside of it, I think the, the key element that I'm learning is to make sure that I focus on the things that I really am here to do. What are the things that I want most and what are the things that are going to help me get there? And if I'm spending time and energy on things that aren't going to help me get there, I need to cut those out. Thankfully, YouTube is a part of getting there. It's something that's helping me to get there. I won't be cutting it out anytime soon, but I need to be thinking in terms of what can I be cutting out as I go. And I am thinking of those terms and we're gonna figure that out. But anyways, tomorrow I've gotta do some voice acting tomorrow. Hopefully the couch shows up tomorrow and a box of wine from my vendange time. So tomorrow's gonna be fairly exciting. And my sister's birthday present theoretically could come tomorrow as well. I'm skeptical, not of my sister. My sister is amazing, but of the delivery services here in France, DHL, don't even know what their deal is. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for yet more madness, and I hope that you have a wonderful, whatever time it is there that you're moving into, I hope that time is great for you.